Yes, you know, first time I heard that song, I thought, well, now why do I want to sing just praise the Lord, it'll make you feel better. And then I realized something. You know, God has all the angels in heaven praising him. All the seraphims and cherubims going before the throne saying, holy is the Lord. It's an atmosphere of praise. I believe the Lord loves our praises, but sometimes our praise is better for us than it is for him because it causes us to sacrifice ourselves and say, here I am, Lord. Nothing but a piece of dirt, but whatever I have, here it is, Jesus. Hallelujah. And Father, we enter this sanctuary, Lord, with praise tonight. And we ask you, Lord, we come with nothing, but we lift all we have to you, Jesus. And we ask you to change us, touch our lives, make us different. God, we want to be holy unto you. We want to leave this place with a fire in our bones, Lord, with a fire in our bones to the passion for Jesus, stronger than we've never, ever had before. We thank you. Holy Spirit, come in power. In Jesus' name. You may be seated. God bless you. We're going to come back in just a few minutes, and we're going to worship and praise the Lord some more. But before we do that, we're going to have some baptisms. This is exciting. Man. We'll hear testimonies of what God is doing in people's lives. And we believe at Brownsville that baptism is not an option. It's a commandment. The Lord Jesus was baptized, and we need to follow him in water baptism. After he was baptized, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit, as a dove, descended upon him, and the voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I, in whom I am well pleased. And we believe that baptism is well-pleasing to the Father. And it's a, a sign, a physical sign of a spiritual work. And we want to just allow these candidates to come right now. They'll share a short word of testimony, and then they'll be baptized. And we're going to worship God after this, because after you hear what God is doing in people's lives, you'll be ready to lift your voice and praise. God bless you. Hello, uh, my name is David, and I'm from California. I've been a Christian for a long time, and I, I was saved and water baptized shortly after that, but you know, at that time I really didn't understand what baptism was all about. And I've gotten involved in ministry, I've traveled in ministry, and I've gone to Bible college, and I'm a pastor for 11 years now, and I've taught about water baptism and explained all of that for all these years. But, you know, I wanted to be uh, baptized in a way that I really understood now that I do. Uh, I, I want to be baptized here. And so I came here to Brownsville, and the Lord convicted me so much. God touched me, and I repented. You know, because I had been, you know, hooked on television, that remote. You know what I'm talking about? I need to cut that thumb off. And I couldn't stop it. And I had such a hold on that. I had videotapes and things, no R-rated or anything like that, but PG tapes. And, you know, there were some things in there, bad language and a little bit of this and that. And I thought, oh, that wasn't anything. No big deal. But now when I get back home, I'm going to throw it all out. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have decided. Now I'm going to be baptized, and I'm going to be uh, die with Christ, and I'm going to be raised with Christ, and I'm going to preach a new message. With, uh, preach to deaf people all over the world and let them know. I love you, Jesus. Okay, my name is Carrie Ann Rawson, and that was my husband, and my husband David. 
was just baptized in water, and I was saved about 12 years ago. But I, I came to, when I came to Brownsville, I realized I had seen a magazine, uh, a Pentecostal magazine, and I hadn't really heard about the revival that much before, but I was reading it. I was so interested. And my husband and I both felt we wanted to come. God was touching us to come. And it seemed it was his right time for us to come. And I looked at all the things, the people. There were so many people, beautiful faces, shining and singing. And I realized that the, the presence of the Lord was here. And I wanted more and more and more of his Holy Spirit. So much power here. And that the Lord was here. And I was glad I had come. And I, and I, I wanted to show that I have died and I am resurrected again in Christ. My husband preaches well and he's a wonderful preacher, but I support him and I thank God that we are being baptized again now with a newer understanding and we work together, we'll work together for God and have more power for God and see deaf people brought to him. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I came to Pensacola looking for direction. I didn't know what I was doing, where I was going. The Holy Spirit took over during these sermons when I was listening to these amazing preachers. And for so long, I'd rejected the call that was on my life. And the Lord told me while I was here, he said, drop your nets and follow me. So I'm com this is my commission. And I'm showing the world that I'm going to follow the Lord. And I'm going to lead people to Christ. Gretchen, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. God really touched my life last night in an awesome way. I, um, I went to the youth service just last night, and I heard the message, and... God has really been getting on me to, to make a personal and, and not a personal commitment, but a, a public commitment to him and to really, to really, to really make that commitment. And, um, he's, he's also called me to, to a, a certain type of ministry. I really don't know what it is, but I needed to show God that I was willing to do whatever it took, whether it, you know, it took going to pray for somebody or standing here in front of all of you guys. And this is, this is my commitment to God that I'll do whatever he wants me to do. Stacy, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Um, last night I was here for a week, and last night um, when Steve, um, when, when he asked to turn to your neighbor, um, he asked if they wanted to um, go, um, if he wanted to go to the altar and um, get forgiveness or ask Jesus into your heart. I turned to my mom and I just grabbed her hand and I started running. And I, when I went up there, I started just crying. And that's when I knew that Jesus was my Savior. Bless you. I baptize you now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Hi, my name is Tammy. I lived in a doll tree and had a baby at Woodlock. And I thought Jesus couldn't forgive me. And my friend Laura at work told me, No, Tammy, Jesus accepts you the way you are. 
Then last Friday, I received Jesus as my personal Savior. <laughs> and, and Jesus took all that balance and broke those chains. And now I want to live and be a witness for Jesus and stop on the wounds and say, I can live forever for Jesus, no matter what trials I go through. In the name of Jesus. Baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Take that, devil. <laughs> that was my friend Tammy. I want to thank the Lord for so much. He sent me here in November of 96, and I was in the church for 10 years, brother. Sister, I was backslidden. I was so backslidden the first night Steve Hill preached. I said, husband, I said, please go to that altar with me. And uh, so he followed me. He was like, what are you going up there for? You know, we're saved. Put it this way, I went to the altar, he went back, the next night he slid to the altar. Yeah. So we moved up here. We had to be at Brownsville. Every time we turned around, we were back up here. So we had to move up here. We moved up here Father's Day, 1997. I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. I thank the Lord for everything he's cleansed me of. I know that there's going to be more. Um, but I thank the Lord that my life is going to be in him. He's going to keep me from here till the day he comes back to get us. And if you've got anything in your life, when they, when they give that altar call, get down there to that altar. Jesus Christ will meet you there. Yes. Don't believe the lies of the devil. He took a lot from me while I was in the church, folks. And he ain't taking nothing else from me. In Jesus' name. Baptize you now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. My name is Jenny, and um, I was baptized about three years ago, and um, it'll be a year in March since I was raped, and I'm, I'm being baptized today to let the devil know that he is under my feet, and that's where he's going to stay, <laughs> and, <laughs> and that I don't live there anymore. I don't live in the depression and the thoughts of hating life and hating, hating everything and hating myself and not wanting to live, and that's not going to be me anymore, because I'm giving it to God, because I can't fight this fight alone. My name is Travis Wolf. Um, from Richmond, Virginia. Um, I've been a youth pastor for the last six or seven months in Richmond. And I came for the conference this week and, and God showed me all this stuff that I still had inside of me that I never gave, gave over to him. And last night in um, Pastor Crisco's sermon, I don't know where he is if he's here, but y'all better bless God for that man. <laughs> He has got, man, he has got love in his heart. I mean, I work with junior hires, and that man has got love in his heart for your kids. But last night he talked about winning souls for Christ and being sacrificed with Christ. And, and tonight, Romans 6 tells us that when you're baptized, you're crucified with Christ. And I just want God to know that right now, so, like Jennifer said, Satan is under my feet and he's staying there, and I want to be crucified with Christ. Yes. 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 Yes.
baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Hello, my name is Village I Minx. For the past eight months, Satan has really grabbed a hold of me. And he's been trying to drive me down in the pits. And I let him do it. I committed adultery. And I've lost everything in my life that has ever meant anything to me. My family, my two young children, <laughs> and a wonderful job. And I'm here to say today that the Lord Jesus, <laughs> this is your life. <laughs> Tell me what you want me to do and let me do it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, my name is uh, Howard Wilde. I'm from Levittown, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's been a short time. A few years back, my wife spoke to me, told me about, you got to go under, Howard, full immersion. It's biblical, Howard. You got to, no, not me. I'm fine. Let me be. Yeah. I come down here to the revival. Tuesday, Wednesday, I sat up there. Nobody was praying on me. I was up in the balcony, so if you think going upstairs ain't going to touch you or you need somebody <laughs> praying on you, I'm going to tell you right now, that was Wednesday, Wednesday night. The music just touched me. It just exhilarated. It just is like a high and a half, a legal one. <laughs> Thursday, Thursday, let me get this out. My God, praise God. Thursday, they came down. We still have a few openings. Uh, if you want to get baptized, you want to get right, you know, come, give them your name. I'm standing now, just now. No. Friday morning. Today, I went upstairs. I'm in the balcony again. <laughs> can't get here in the morning, so you know, I'm just telling you, it's upstairs too. Don't can't hide. I'm telling you. <laughs> I walked up there, Ray started singing, getting in, oh, and it sat me down. Hello, you're going in here, and here I am. Praise God. First of all, I thank God for all the mothers out there that believe in their sons. I just got out of prison this year, and uh, when I got out, when I, when I was in prison, I served God for two years before I got out. And when I got out, I turned my back on him. And uh, he showed me three different visions while I was in prison to come to this revival, and I finally made it. Satan has uh, tried to fight me for the past week to get here, but I'm here, and this is the reason why I'm here, is to serve God and to give my life to God now. Amen. 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 Amen.
Hi, my name is Lucas, and I'm from Brazil, and I'm assigned for an exchange program for high school, and, well, they chose me to go to New York, but uh, was not a possible, so they transferred me to Pensacola, and... <laughs> Anyway, my host family go to school ministry and they come to Brownsville and they introduce me to Brownsville and I just felt like, this is so real, this is so wonderful, what's that? And uh, I took like about a month to realize what Jesus really was, but I really got baptized in the Holy Spirit and I said, Lord, my life is on you now and you can take care of now. <laughs> Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy God is real. All my life I went to church, but I just went through the motions. I never knew who God was. To make a long story short, this March my, my wife left me and she took my little boy. My church had the opportunity to come down here for the pastor's revival. And we came and I, I was just led. I knew God wanted me here. And I was obedient and I followed him. And I came and I said, Lord, I need direction. Because my wife loved me and I don't know which way to turn. But I just stand on his word because I know it's truth. I follow him, and I follow him here. I just want God to touch me. I said, God, give me direction. And he gave me, I was being prayed for, and he, he gave me the fire. The fire of God. I got such a hunger and a thirst for him, it's unbelievable. I said, touch me. I'm not happy unless you give me it all. Because God is so big. I chose to be baptized in the name of Jesus because he is the only way. He said he is the way, the truth, and the light. I want it all. Praise God. you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! I'm a street preacher from Colorado Springs. I thought I was going to uh, the Toronto Blessing, but I guess I'm supposed to come here, because here I am. I thought I was hot on fire for Jesus, and upon coming to this altar, that red hot fire has turned white. And I cannot contain, I'm out in the streets and I preach in the streets the whole truth. I'd always been missing the second part of the gospel, which is there's a hell that awaits those that reject Jesus Christ. He has changed my life since coming here, and masturbation is an addiction because I've been delivered from it. 
And I just thank God for the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to give glory to him. I want to die to myself and live unto God for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name. And I'll baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. My name is Larry. It was the power of God that changed my life. <laughs> the Holy Spirit that moved my daughter to educate me. The microphone just about took a break. Hello, that's a lot of people. Um, I just want to say thank you. Y'all are, are awesome, man. Um, thank you for Jeff Rule, because if it wasn't for him praying for me and my family, that uh, I don't know if uh, God would, you know, I don't know what would have happened. Um, he put me in that little box down there and prayed for me and... Uh, I've been to, my, my grandfather and my great-grandfather, they were Freemasons, and um, there's been witchcraft in my family, and I've practiced it, and I've been delivered from it in the name of Jesus. Um, I've been set free from, uh, I've been set free from just, uh, like, bondage, man, just, like, spiritual crap, and, uh, <laughs> Praise God. Anyways, I, um, you can't run from God. I don't, I don't care how good of a vehicle you've got. I don't care if you're a good traveler. I don't care what you think you are. You ain't nothing. Um, I have just ran and ran and ran, and I ignored prophecy, and I, I ignored God, and I ignored my heart. And, and he just he took me down to this deep hole, and he brought me out. And I just thank him for it. And I want all that he has for me. I want it all. I want it all. Baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Well, I went to the enemy's camp and I took back what he stole from me. Took back what he stole from me. Took back what he stole from me. I went to the enemy's camp and I took back what he stole from me. It's under my feet. 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 
respect.